There is a thief in our midst. It strikes silently and without warning. But what this thief steals is not what we can wear, not what we can touch. This thief takes everything that we can see. Tapos nagising ako uh, madaling araw. Ikatabi namin yung baby ng asawa ko. Ginising ko siya, sabi ko, ayun, nag, ano na ako nasisigaw na ako na, na ganun. Nagsisini lang kami eh. Tapos mga five, masakit lang ulo ko. Siguro mataas yung baby ko. Tapos yung bigla naging blurry. Doon ko naramdaman yung, kasi wala na talaga akong makita eh. Akala ko nga, hindi na ako makakita. Pagdating sa bahay, pagdating yung seven, wala na, 100% tayo. I can't, I can't, I can't see anything. It's called glaucoma, and it is one of the leading causes of blindness all over the world. Glaucoma is the silent thief, because it can slowly steal your eyesight before you know anything is wrong. Suddenly, my eyes became blurred, so I got scared. So immediately, I went for an eye checkup, and it indicated that uh, I had glaucoma, and it was already and very bad. Studies have shown that many people who have glaucoma don't even know they have it. And what's frightening is that when people discover that they do have glaucoma, it may already be too late. One day, nagising siya, wala na talaga siyang makita. Parang nabigla lang din ako kasi hindi ko alam na nagulat lang din ako ng bakit parang hindi na nakakita yung left eye ko noon. Many people are not aware that there is such a thing as eye or intraocular pressure. Intraocular pressure allows the eye to maintain its shape and function properly. In glaucoma, intraocular pressure becomes unusually high, and this pressure damages the delicate optic nerve, causing vision loss and other complications. If we were to say that the eye were the television set and the the cable or the antenna of the television set were to be the optic nerve or the nerve that uh, delivers the images from the eye to the brain, then if a patient were to have glaucoma, the cable or the antenna of their television set would actually be uh, affected. If the nerve becomes damaged or diseased, then the images that reach the brain from the eye is lacking in, in really bad cases, none at all. In other words, glaucoma is a blinding disease. No? Although many cases of glaucoma often go undetected until it progresses to the advanced stages, there are subtle and not so subtle warning signs that one should watch out for. One subtle sign of glaucoma is the loss of peripheral vision. People losing peripheral vision may trip or stumble often, or perhaps frequently bump into desks, chairs, and other objects. Other signs of glaucoma include blurred vision, seeing halos around lights, a reddening of the eye, severe eye pain, and nausea and vomiting. The, my description was that it was like I was uh, inside the swimming pool with my eyes open, no? Masakit yung ulo ko, tapos lumalabog yung minsan-minsan. Pero pinabayaan ko siya. So, nung college, nahuli ng lahat, nabulag yung isa kong mata. So they call it the thief of sight because it's very silent, it's insidious, and it's chronic. What's dangerous about it is that because uh, nerves don't regenerate, no? they don't grow back, uh, visual field loss secondary to glaucoma is typically permanent. No? Doctors have also discovered that people over the age of 60 have a higher chance of developing glaucoma. Furthermore, doctors have identified the following as risk factors for glaucoma. Having a family history of glaucoma medical conditions such as diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease, eye trauma, injury, or damage to the eye, and nearsightedness. If you or anyone you know have the symptoms, or if any of the risk factors apply to you, go to an eye doctor immediately. Doing so can save your vision and prevent irreversible blindness. I Nung sinabi niya na mahina na yung chance niya na maibalik yung vision niya. Yun, kaya nga, pag nakakita ko ng bulag, nararamdaman ko yung nararamdaman nila kasi ang hirap pala. When detected early, 
glaucoma need not cause even moderate vision loss. And fortunately, modern medical science has provided doctors with highly effective tools and methods to diagnose and treat glaucoma properly. When patients are seen by ophthalmologists, they are first evaluated by getting the pressures of their eye. It could be in the form of what we call an OCT, an uh, optical coherence to uh, tomographer, which uh, basically tells us how thick is the nerve fiber layer. And also we will be able to evaluate the function of the nerve through a visual field analysis through what we call a uh, visual field perimeter. We're in a, uh, a patient is asked to uh, respond to a series of uh, light stimulus. Once a doctor diagnoses a patient with glaucoma, he or she recommends treatment that is appropriate for the patient and his or her condition. One of the most common treatments for glaucoma are medicated eye drops. These eye drops serve to lower the pressure in the eye and prevent further damage to the optic nerve. A doctor may also recommend surgery, done either with lasers or conventional surgery. He did an op eye operation on my left eye and then a laser on my right eye. It is important to note that while glaucoma cannot be cured, it can be controlled. But it is important that glaucoma is diagnosed early. Once you've been diagnosed as having glaucoma, basically that is there for life. And so it is just important that we are able to monitor the disease in order for us to control it and so the patient may not really have any problem as far as their daily life activities are concerned. Kaya nakakatrabaho ako, nakabasa pa ako script, nakakadrive ako, nakamadyong ako. So if you or anyone you know experience the following warning signs, or if you are over 60, or if any of the risk factors apply to you, go see an eye doctor immediately. And in choosing a doctor, make sure he or she has the proper training and credentials. And in choosing a hospital, make sure that your hospital has the best facilities and newest technologies so that your condition can be diagnosed and treated properly. For best results, choose a hospital that is accredited by the Joint Commission International. The significance of this is that these are standards that look at safety of processes in the hospital so that you're sure as a patient that if you come to this hospital with a JCI accreditation, all the processes that occur within that hospital are there for continuous improvement in the quality of care and more importantly, for enhanced patient safety. Uh, the best a patient can expect is really uh, the maintenance of whatever vision he or she has left for the remainder of his or her life. If that vision is, is still substantial, then the patient can expect uh, to carry on his normal daily routine uh, without any handicap. Uh, but if, that, if, if, if the visual field loss is extensive or severe, then, then I guess uh, that patient will be permanently handicapped. At least, Alam ko na ano na siya eh, nahihirapan din siya. Siyempre, sabi ko sa kanya, sana, ano, huwag, ano, huwag may mangyari sa akin kasi baka, siyempre may baby pa kami. Naawaran niya ako sa kanya. So, kailangan talaga, kung may nararamdaman na, kailangan, uh, hindi sila mag-hesitate na magpa-check up sa mga doktor. At saka, Best advice, hanapin nila yung talagang field sa ganong sakit para wala nang maraming, uh, maraming pagkakamali. Glaucoma may be a silent thief, but you can stop it dead in its tracks. Because every day, doctors are making use of the latest advancements in technology to make sure that you are secure against those who would take what is most valuable away from you.